the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Shout out for hate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm feeling it tonight, brother. I don't know about you. Yeah. It's time. Late night. WWE Champion Stream, brother, here on DSP Gaming. How's everyone doing tonight, brother? <laughs> yes. I am ready to chill with you guys. I don't know about you. I am ready to chill. What about you? Are you ready to chill? I'm ready to chill, brother. That's right. By the way, just to start here tonight, before we even begin, all right? Last night, you guys pressured me. I had to give in to viewer pressure. All right, because I, I, as you know, I'm a very impressionable person. And if you suggest something, I fold I immediately and give in. I cave, right? So last night, you guys said to me that Phil, we were like, we were at like seven hundred dollars in tips last night, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys for a first stream of WWE Champions. Obviously, that's ridiculous, over the top levels of support, right? And you guys said, well, Phil, if we hit $1,000 tonight, will you rip your shirt off like Hulk Hogan? Now, listen, I don't know if you guys know. These are nice shirts. These are very nice shirts that I have, okay, of various different levels of value and quality. And I really like them. I just, I just got this wardrobe over the last year because I used to wear, like, gamer T-shirts on my streams all the time. And after doing that for, like, a decade, I got tired of it. So now I'm getting nicer clothes and things to wear, you know, in my content. And... So basically, last night people were like, would you do it? I was like, nah, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to rip my shirt off and destroy this nice shirt that I'm wearing. Um, so someone said, what about t-shirts? What do you have for t-shirts? And I was like, I have no idea. I'm not going to destroy a gamer shirt and stuff that I might wear in the future. You know, I just wasn't prepared. I had no clue that the audience would actually ask me to possibly rip my shirt off like a, like a Hulkamaniac, right? Or a, a Philomaniac, excuse me. Um, that I, it was, it took me completely by surprise. I was like, wow. Okay. So I went into my wardrobe today. I went deep into the wardrobe and I was technically, I was looking for a shirt that number one would definitely stand out on camera if I did this. And number two, all right, a, a shirt that I don't really care if I rip it apart and I destroy it. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I have an incredibly bright t-shirt. That has been sitting in my drawer for many years. I don't use it. All right. Look at it. Look how it stands out. Right. <laughs> so here it is. So if we hit a thousand dollars in tips like you guys suggested tonight, I will put this on and I will rip it off in a, in a Hulk Hogan manner. We'll actually do a big shtick of, of it. I'll like act it up and everything. Because the bottom line is Twitch is a bad business. Twitch is not a good place to put out quality content. It's not. You are constantly uh, nagged to advertise and or uh, push subs or product so that you can make money and you're, they'll make money. They get profit from that and then you get profit from that. Why do you think there's so many titty streamers on Twitch who are girls with big ass fucking boobs hanging out and they barely can play a game but they get tons of fucking money on Twitch and Twitch makes out? I like gaming. I like playing video games. I like sharing those raw experiences with you because that's how I enjoyed the game, playing it raw and not faking it for you. But I also love sharing my opinions on that game, my informed opinions later as a review. I do like talking to you every once in a while in a video like I'm doing right now. I enjoy all of these things, all right? I don't want to be a comedian. I don't want to be an entertainer, a cosplayer, a fucking skit maker, a video editor, a fucking, you know what I mean? Uh, anything that these people do, that this is what's popular on YouTube, that's not what I want. And I don't need to be popular on YouTube. I don't care about getting a million subs and having people donate the fuck out of everything to me. I don't care about any of that. I just want enough to pay my bills, to have a little life here with my, my girlfriend, Leanna, and to keep sharing my experiences with you daily. That's all I want. Okay? It's like neon or a green. It's like neon green shirt. So it's kind of like something a wrestler would actually wear from like the 80s, right? Do I think I'm strong enough to rip it? I've already pre-cut it to make sure that I can rip it. So I don't look like a fool on stream. So I definitely can rip it because it's pre-cut there. You see that? 
By the way, that's exactly what Hogan used to do, too. He always had a tiny little thing where you could rip it from. And his shirts weren't even real t-shirts. Like, a lot of Hogan shirts were those, like, really thin spandex style. Like, super easy to rip. Um, I did I did look on Amazon. No one has that. I was looking at, like, no one. They only just have real t-shirts. They don't have, like, the rippable, rippable style wrestler shirts and shit. They don't, they don't sell them. I don't know if it's something in the industry in the costume department would make or sell on mass or something. They don't really have them. Um, so I said, well, I got it. All right, so there you go. If we hit that. Now, I don't think, to be frank with you, I don't think we're going to be hitting $1,000 of tips tonight. I just, I'm not feeling it. Last night was the ultra hype stream, correct? It was the first time ever I did WWE Champions. So everyone was excited and hype. I think tonight people will still be excited and hype, but it's not going to be like barrels of support are going to be pouring towards me or anything, right? I, I don't think so. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Because, man, I haven't believed uh, <clears throat> any any of this for a very long time. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how it goes tonight. All right? So here's a fake Apollo with no subscribers and no, no views or anything. So I'll delete the fake imposter Apollo right now. And I just got rid of them. Okay. Um, okay. So <clears throat> got the shirt ready to rip. If we happen to hit that high level of support, it's here. It's ready to go. Okay? It's crazy. No, I'm not. I'm going to put on over this. I'm not going to take my whole shirt. I'm not going to be bare chested. What do you think? I'm stupid? No, that's going to be over my shirt. I'm going to put it on over this and I'm going to tear it off. You know, I'm not going to go bare chested like an idiot. <laughs> no, I've not been drinking. Uh, trust me, I would not be drinking right now. So here's why. So my wife got home from work. And originally what we were going to do for, for, for dinner was turkey tacos. But she was like, I am so beat. Today was her final day of work for the week. After working like four or five days straight, she's like, I am so beat. I don't want to cook today. And I said, it's all right. I've been doing so well. We could definitely order food if you want. So on a whim, she goes, why don't we order Chipotle? Like we never order Chipotle like ever, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll order. I'll order Chipotle then. Um, that's cool. Let's uh let's see what they got because we never order this. And we looked at burritos. They have like bowls. They have tacos. So we each ordered a burrito. She ordered like a chicken burrito, and I ordered like a steak burrito, which is a treat for me because I don't eat a lot of red meat. Um, the thing is, we had never had Chipotle before, so we don't know what to order. So she ordered like black beans with this corn salsa and a bunch of other stuff, and I ordered uh pinto beans with this red salsa. I just picked one. I was like, whatever. So I start to eat it. And I'm like, wow, this is like really good. This tastes delicious. The steak, this, I'll be honest, a few bites of the steak was very fatty and chewy. So they have, it's not all good cuts of steak. Like some of them are good and some of them are not so good. But I was eating it. I'm like, it's good. It's, it's delicious. And then all of a sudden when I got like a third into the burrito, I said, wait a minute. Why is my mouth so, so hot? My mouth is like on fire. And what had happened is, you know, I'm eating it and all the salsa is going down to the bottom of the burrito. And I must have ordered the hottest salsa they have. I, I didn't know this. I don't know what's hot. It doesn't even say out when you're ordering what the heat levels are of the salsa. So I must have gotten their hot salsa. So I'm like, this is really good, but let's keep going. I keep eating. So I'm halfway in and my mouth is really starting to burn and salivate. I'm like, oh, damn, this is pretty damn, damn strong, man. And I kept going. So I'm like two thirds into the burrito. And my wife is like, oh, well, my, my, my corn salsa is nice and sweet, but also has some spice. How about yours, honey? She looks at me. And my face, my eyes are full of water. And my mouth is like, ah! I was like, it's good. It, but it's so hot. It's so hot. So I just kept eating, but I didn't finish it. I actually couldn't finish it. By the time I was done, my whole mouth was like tingling on fire. It was so hot. I was like, I didn't even know they had that salsa, you know? Like a regular Chipotle. You would think they wouldn't even have it that hot because people would complain. Um, so I finished it, right? And, well, I didn't finish the whole thing. There's some left, but I finished, like, maybe two-thirds of it. And we have some guacamole we had had, too. So we had guacamole with chips and tried to cool it down. I'd say finally, like, maybe, like, 10 to 15 minutes later, I was better. Like, my mouth was better. But then all of a sudden, it hits me. Oh, my God. I got to get to the restroom. I ran across the house, right? So I went, and I, I used the restroom. I think you can figure out what happened. And then I, finally, I went to say, I said, okay. Now, I'm going to relax with my wife. We're going to sit here and maybe, you know, we'll just watch for a little bit and just relax. And we sat maybe for like 20 minutes and now I started to have my coffee because I'm getting ready for this stream. As I start to drink my coffee, 
I kid you not. Yo, another wave hits me, and this is the lava wave. This is like steaming hot magma it has come through my guts, and I almost didn't make it to the bathroom this time. And I barely, and when I did, it was like, oh, it hurt so bad. <laughs> like, oh my God. So now twice, I've used, I really hope I don't have to go a third time during this stream. But twice you would think I'm cleansed. But I don't know what the fuck they put in that salsa, but it was hot as shit. It was so, and I've had like really spicy Indian food, really spicy Thai food. This actually killed my guts. I don't even know what happened. Like, I've never have I been hit that bad. So I apologize for telling you the story, but you did ask, and I just want to forewarn you, if tonight you see me getting up and running out of this room at the fastest speed possible, you know what's going on. It's Chipotle. Okay? Like, holy shit, man. Okay. Um, so, some shout-outs to start. First of all, Boniface Enjoyer had actually done a super chat before the stream even began tonight. It was 10 bucks, and he said, Sire, funds for the pools. Thank you. By the way, as you guys can see, the King's streak continues. 24 straight streams where I have hit my $150 total tip skull. In fact, you know what? Let's just do that now. Instead of doing these, these tiered bullshit, let's just do this from now on. No, seriously, like we should just do this because this is the real goal. And this way people understand what the real goal is. It's 150. I think we're going to stop listing the tiers and stuff. And then if I want to do something, if I want to put on a hat or, or glasses or whatever, I will. But we should just list it for what it is from now on so it's not deceptive. Okay? So it's 150 bucks, right? And that's our goal for the King Street. If we hit that tonight, the King Street continues. We make it rain and we keep on crushing it. All right? So thank you, Boniface Enjoyer, first contributor of the night. Then we have Darsh Bag, who became a member tonight. Thank you for that, Darsh Bag. And then there was a super chat just now from Boogie is Satan, saying that I think that mayo is spicy. I'm that kind of person. Uh, no, actually, my spice tolerance is pretty good. Not amazing. Like, I wouldn't sit there drinking hot sauce or anything. You know what I mean? But I, I don't have that bad of a problem with spice. So I don't know what they did with that salsa. And again, it was, it was a red one or whatever. I don't... I think they had two red salsas. I must have selected the hot one, but it didn't say that when you were ordering. So it crushed me, man. <laughs> okay. I should think about doubling the goal. Now, let's not double the goal right now. I definitely don't hit $300 every stream. I've been averaging between 150 to 200 every stream. So I definitely don't want to go to 300 and now start pushing it and asking for more and be ungrateful. I'm not going to do that. Oh, illustrator of the, the Blasian Arts. How are you tonight? Brian, how are you tonight? He says, make it a $1,000 goal. Well, I told you, if we hit $1,000, I'm going to put on this t-shirt and I'm going to rip it off acting like Hulk Hogan. Okay? I've got it ready. It's a t-shirt I don't want, so I can destroy it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Whew. All right. Let's get stuff started. We got a $20 tip just came in. Our first tip of the night. And this is from... Rest in peace, Sid Udi. Yeah, rest in peace to Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, whatever you want to call him. Very sad that we lost Sid this week uh, to cancer. So, rest in peace to Sid. Person says, you know and I know, only half the man. you're only half the man that I am, and I have the brain that you do. That's right. That's. I think that was actually something that Psycho Sid said once. Of course, it was hilarious. Everyone made fun of it. Um, so, rest in peace, Sid Udi. But our first tip of the night, $20. Thank you for that. <clears throat> All right. So here's the deal. We have to try to unlock League 5 in order to really do anything, like any of the events, the factions, the better loot. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do that tonight. I hope we do. But there's no guarantee that we will. I will try my best with you guys here tonight to do it. But sadly, there's no real way to gauge or tell if we will or not. All right? So... Let's go ahead, and I'll start recording. Actually, let me reload this because it, it does time out after every, like, 15 minutes. It makes you reload the game. <clears throat> okay. So 
Darshbag with the Super Chat says, here's a touch for the coffers. Thank you to Darshbag. I appreciate that, Darshbag. Get you on the leaderboard. Okay. All right, let's begin. I'll start recording and we'll, we'll talk. Here we go. All right, good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome back to WWE Champions Night 2. Only my second night playing the game here on DSP Gaming. Last night was wildly, wildly successful. By the way, I was just telling the stream chat, and I'll tell the on-demand viewers, per everyone's request, last night, everyone was yelling at me and said, if you raise $1,000 in tips on stream, would I rip a shirt like Hulk Hogan? I now have a shirt that I can rip like Hulk Hogan on stream if we do that. I'm not asking for that. I'm not expecting that. I'm hoping to hit 150 so we can keep my King's streak alive tonight. But if we get that crazy and people go nuts with, with generosity, I got the shirt, brother. The shirt is here, brother. We'll do a shirt rip, brother. That's right. I wasn't kidding. Okay. Shout out to Theo, who became a member tonight. And then Spencer just did a super chat and said, like you, I can tolerate Spider- Me helps me more than anything. 